Hi everyone, it is Lori B. I am back to have a little chat and to show you my latest Tall Skinny journal, whose name is Polly, aka B Yellow. And you'll get that when I open it up, but it's pretty much a yellow. Um, I love the color yellow. It's it's a happy color. Um, it's, you know, be yellow to me is like saying be happy. So, um, you'll, you'll see when I, when I open it up, kind of what I'm talking about, but I kind of wanted to have a little chat before, and I'm not really, I'm never sure how much of my private life I should, you know, talk about, um, because mainly because I know that a lot of people who t turn into a junk journal flip through video don't want to hear about you know those kind of things and this this pertains with my health um but then again i have i do have people that i consider my friends and who are my viewers my subscribers and I, I, I love everybody and sometimes I, I disappear, you know, I, I go quiet for a little while and, um, I, I'm gone for pretty long periods of time. I, I think the last one was six or seven months and I really didn't explain anything back then. Um, and it just seems like I, it. I feel bad when I've been away so long. So um, if you don't want to hear all about this, and it's not terrible news, so if you don't want to hear about all this, then go ahead and skip forward. Feel free to put me on uh, double time on that speed. Um, it, it'll only take a, a minute or two just to kind of, you know, just kind of let you know what's going on and sometimes if I disappear for a while there there's there's a reason behind it um, I usually am working on a journal but sometimes I can't I can't get the energy to um, to film I just I just can't and a, a reason for that is um, a couple of years ago they found a mass on my kidney and I've had a mass on my kidney before, but it was like 1990. And so I had a partial nephrectomy, which is, um, you know, they took that part of the, of the kidney out, my left kidney. And um, haven't really had any problems since then. Kidney cancer, they do not do chemo or radiation because it really doesn't respond well to that. So what they end up doing is they, they either take it out, which back then was a really big deal because they cut you op wide open. They didn't have all those scopes and things like that. Um, but nowadays, you know, it's, it's a pr pretty common, common surgery. They either take out all of the kidney or part of the, the portion of the kidney like they did in, in 90, or nowadays, uh they they have different options and when my mass showed up on my kidney my option was to ha um pretty much have it cryo have cryoplasty and what that means is they basically freeze it to smithereens and one of the reasons why that was the best option for me is because of my previous surgeries on my abdomen, I have a lot of scar tissue. And uh, so he said that it could end up being a really big deal if they had to like go in and try to cut it out. So my best option was to get it cryoblasted and basically have it rechecked every year have a new MRI done every year um, this year they've added a chest x-ray and of course I have to have all the blood work and I have all that coming up in June but 
I guess what I'm getting at is I have not been feeling well lately and it's kind of reminiscent of how I felt before um, a couple of years ago when they cryoblasted. And that feeling is basically um, very tired. I'm very fatigued and uh, some back pain on top of the back pain I already have. And just my electrolytes are off and my uh, red, blood cal red, red blood cell counts are off. And, um, you know, so I, I go in in June and I, I find all that out. So it could be... I could just be tired. I mean, it could just be my age. I'll be 65 in, in May. Um, I don't feel right. I will say that. But, you know, I'm not going to get all worked up about it. Like I said, I just feel bad when I'm, when I'm, when I'm gone for a while and um, nobody knows where I went. So I've just kind of been dealing with the fatigue and not really having the energy. So today I, I don't feel great, but I, I just said, I got to do it. I've got to get in here and, and, uh, my energy level seems to go up a little bit around this time of day. So I thought I, I could, I could get it over. It's probably going to be a very quick one. And I know I say that all the time, but this time maybe I can do it. I also had a melanoma removed from my face a couple of years ago. And melanoma is a big deal skin cancer. Um, it was on my cheek and I have to have that rechecked every year as well. So I'm going in for my, my mold check and I do have a few areas that are um, suspicious to me, um, but we will see. So that's kind of what I've been going through, and I apologize if if I'm not as uh, communicative as I could be on the different social media. But really, I just you know, I just flake out, um, and um, it doesn't take a lot of energy to work on the journals. Thank goodness. I don't know what I'd do without it. But um, so here we are. So that took seven and a half minutes, not too bad. So, you know, I'm not telling everyone this for comments about it or anything like that. I just, I've been going back and forth about what I should let you all know and, because you're my friends and, you know, I could use a few prayers too. So, uh, you know, and that's that. So anyway, this journal this is the pouch this journal started out as a blank journal and it ended up not being a blank journal it uh, just didn't want to be a blank journal so I filled it up it's it's pretty full I made this pouch uh, this is all hand done I love this fabric this is a upholstery weight fabric and um, as you can see, it's a tiger stripe, and it's not yellow, but it 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 goes really well with, it. and it, it's so soft, and it just feels so good. And I'm all about texture too, and it's fun, and that's why I wanted to use it for this particular journal because it's so fun. And like I said, I did hand make this. Me and my sewing machine don't get along, and um. I do like to hand sew. This was my first attempt at lining. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever do it again, but I did not do too badly. Um, this is linen, which is really easy to work with. So it is completely lined and everything is hand sewn. And you know, it's plain, but I love it. So she just slips right in there. And this is Polly. And she's a tall skinny, so she doesn't fit in the screen very well. She has a skirt. And the way I did this skirt was, this is a piece of table runner. Very, very old one. Um, beautiful woven material with some thread work 
And what I ended up doing was there's wire in there and I got the wire from some ribbon and I just took that out and you can make her look like she's blowing in the wind or you know you can do whatever you want with it but she's just really cute and she's got she's just a cute little little girl with her boots on and her I call them bloomers but they're yellow so this is Polly just used a little bit of this ribbon um, that these rosettes are made from I made her a bow belt and this is removed this whole thing is removable this is just a cover for the journal and um, I got this isn't she adorable I got this on Etsy it is a digital um, I can't remember the Etsy shops name but I will get it by the time it'll be in this description box box below the whole set was just adorable uh, I did add some gold flakes to it and I you know I did some put some uh, gel medium on there and you know kind of did my thing on it but really really cute so this is the way it goes on and I just double just double ribboned it and here's the back it's a dandelion and this is from Cheryl Francis Art who is my my favorite and I did this um, I finished it last month so that just holds the journal closed. This was a, I believe it was a blanket, and I, I found it at a thrift store, and at first I thought, what in the world am I going to do with this? It, it, it was huge. It's not so huge anymore. I, I think it's in pieces everywhere from me just snipping off of it, um, but it's very old. And I didn't know what to do with it for the longest time. And um, now that I've worked with it, I, I love it. I want to do all my journals with this, but I won't. That'll be boring. So it's so old that you can't even really see what the design on it was anymore. So I used my favorite. Um, this is Old Gold DMC Thread. Um, I call it mustard, mustard yellow. Some rosettes. I did some of my um, doodle stitching all around it, front and back. And just open it up. This is my signature card. I used um, vintage laces, and this is an old hanky. It's one of those, you know, fancy hankies that you wouldn't even conceive of blowing your dainty little nose in. But I thought it went so well with this journal. And this is from some lace I believe I got from Esme. I just cut out the flowers and I don't know if you can see the little bows here it's kind of a new look for sewing in a signature but it's faux I didn't really sew it in this way it just looks like I did I'm talking about these bows right here. There's five of them in right here. It is a sewn-in signature. So here's a tag I did, just a fabric, a fabric flip. And this is a very old antique piece of lace, and I believe it was a cuff. It was either a cuff or part of a collar. 
very old. Use some of my favorite dotted Swiss dot fabric and a deconstructed flower. And these are, yep, they are overall jean from overall jeans. You know the, the the snaps, and I put the button directly into the page. It just snaps on there. And I'm going to take it out just so it won't flop around. This is uh, Digitals from Cheryl Francis Art. Love it. So much you can do with that, with that paper. And remember I said I love the color yellow. So this says yellow, the color of sunshine, hope, and happiness, has conflicting associations. On one hand, yellow stands for freshness, happiness, positivity, clarity, energy, optimism, enlightenment, enlightenment, resembra, res, remembrance, intellect, honor, loyalty, and joy. But on the other, it represents cowardice and deceit, a dull a dull or dingy yellow may represent caution, sickness, and jealousy. Well, my journal is all of everything there up. No negativity in this journal. Just some little threads. There's an envelope flap right there. This is a beautiful um, fly paper from an old book. And um, just a label. And I backed it with some more paper because it was extremely fragile. And I'm not going to pull out all the ephemera. I want that to be for whoever, whoever decides they would like to have this in their life. And it's kind of been spoken for. Um, the person has not seen it in its entirety. I was still working on the cover, and I believe I... I posted a picture on Facebook and they said they were interested so um, they are seeing it for the first time as well in this in this video so um, if anybody's interested I can put you on the list um, it's not always a done deal so just let me know it's a piece of ephemera that I aged up and I looked up with the cement and now I can't remember, but it's nothing bad. Some journaling spots, and this came from an adult coloring book. And the whole thing was just cities. And it tells you the city, or cities. Like this one on the back side is Central Central Park and they did it into a, like a Mandela shape very very I think this is a male artist so you can see it's kind of in a, a Mandela shape and this one is Sabam Yemen Yem Yemen Love it. You can leave it as is or you can eat uh, color in it. Here is some onion skin that was numbered. And there's a little bit of everything in this in this journal. It's um it's mostly about the yellow. It's not really about any certain theme or anything like that. It's just about the uh, the yellow and what caught my eye and what was interesting. So I love these buildings. And the, these are a list of all the buildings, and then there's numbers on the buildings, and there's numbers next to the list, and it'll tell you what that actual building is. And there's just some more journaling area. I did a little flower collage here of the never-ending bouquet that my son gave me. Actually, I, I'm almost out. 
This was from the underspine of an old book. I don't know if you can see the embossing on it, but it went through to the underside. And a book page. And the, the name of this book was Lavender and Old Lace, and this chapter was about the garden. I just pulled a bunch of ephemera from, um, you know, different sources on the web that were royalty free. This has something to do with cities as well. It's a light bulb. Piece of lace. This is a digital from Cheryl Francis Art. It's just one of her backgrounds. This came off of a hanky piece of notebook paper. And this is uh, from a book from 1927. Here's a little collage I did from feathers and then some more of that blanket. Copyright, copyright 1926. This is some um, some nice some nice paper. It was uh, stationery from a a company. More ephemera. And this has a C on it, and I don't know if you can see, it's a rabbit. I think it's two rabbits. And it was from a uh, French address book. And it just flaps over, a little tuck spot. This is from, I don't, this is about cities as well. Some kind of catalog book I had. You can tuck something in there. Here is another book. I love this book. It's about um, uh, um, furniture, upholstered furniture. And this is a Chippendale Camelback sofa. This is a um, just a different view of it. And it's yellow. Here's an old key. You open that up and you can do some doodling or writing on there. Beautiful butterfly with the yellow antenna. Somebody just knocked on my door. Must be Amazon. Ephemera. Love that. And this is a book. Out, this is a page out of an art book, and there's there's some nakedness going on down here, but it's art, so it's okay. And this is from Peter Paul Rubens. And I'll let you read about that, 1622 to 1625. What I really liked this page for was this room in Versailles in the palace. Look at that chandelier. And I guess this is marble right here with gilded angels, and it's just so fabulous. Look at those windows. more Cheryl Francis art background papers and this is where I got the name this is an old music sheet this is the middle of the book I used some washi tape and masking tape and you know little little um uh, you know faux repair spots in the book and I believe this is Rubens Peter Paul Rubens Love her. She opens up, and here is a really old page from a book of cathedrals. It's at York Minster. I like how it fits in there because it kind of protects it.
some more of that patchwork digital. And then this, I, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Maybe. It's um, in Florence, Italy. It's a statue. Here's some more old lace that my good friend Sherry sent me, and I absolutely loved it. It was a collar, and it had several pieces. And I just pretty much wanted to use that right away. Some more of that book. Some more ephemera. Okay, I'm going to go fast now. Japanese painting. I love that house. This is a list of birds. And here's a little, um, what do you call them? Cluster. And you can tuck something in there. I also got some laces from Lavish Laces. My favorite lace Etsy store, and you need to check her out, Jazoa. That's where this came from. She just has unusual uh, vintage laces, that one, and that one came from her. That's a piece of a ribbon. Some, uh, some uh, mother of pearl buttons. And this is a drawing for a candlestick. Came out of a book. A good book is the precious lifeblood of a master spirit. And that was from the front of a book. That's an envelope. And more ephemera. And here is another fabric flip I did. This clip says Inspire on it. And this is actually a page over thingy. That just hooks over the page. This is some of that same fabric from uh, the skirt on the front that it's made out of. Some ticking. And a piece of a dolly that just hooks right there. And then I did one la I did one tag, and it's a big one. She just slips out of there. My soul is yellow. Did my doodle stitching. This is a piece of a old hanky. And she just, I lined her, I believe this is tracing paper that I dyed. She just tucks right up there. And some more of that lace. And that is it. So that is Polly. I'm almost at 30 minutes and I was like supposed to be at 15. So I didn't quite make it. But I filled her up pretty good. So that's what took me so long. So here is Polly, a.k.a. Be Yellow. Please let me know if you are interested in purchasing Polly. You can contact me on Facebook under Grungy Girl Journals Lori B. 
or you can in the comment section uh, leave me a comment about it and um, we'll try to hook up at you know I I don't know mess messenger is best but we'll we'll work it out and um, please leave comments and give me the like if you like it I think she turned out beautifully and hopefully you love yellow and if you don't love yellow maybe you love the yellow that I put in Polly so let me hear your thoughts and I will see you next time. Bye.